SolidWorks CAM, both standard and professional, can add tabs along the feature profile so that the feature remains connected to the stock. After machining, the part can be separated by breaking the tabs. This part will be cut out of this piece of stock. It has three features, a circular pocket, an oblong pocket, and the perimeter, and they've all been combined under this one operation. Tabs are defined in the operation parameters. The contour tab in the lower right corner of the dialog box. If we want tabs, we check it on and then go into settings. We can define tabs separately for each individual feature, or we can use the same settings for all features. Define the length and the thickness. The width is the diameter of the tool. You can either specify the number of tabs, and they'll be equally spaced, or distance between tabs. I'll set the number of tabs to three. First tab is placed at the start of the toolpath but each tab can be offset from its default location. You can specify a minimum segment length or a minimum arc radius so tabs won't be placed along those entities. This last section is where we control how the toolpath behaves around the tabs. We can lead in and lead out based on the current operation parameter settings. We can feed over the top of the tabs, or we can retract to a clearance plane. Leaving the settings like this, let's look at the results. I'll change the order to go around the perimeter last. Here's the simulation. Thank you.